Science. Like many people, Joan Thurloway has been battling her weight for years, but now she's signed up to a personalised diet based on her DNA, which she hopes will hold the key to successful slimming. Would-be dieters must send a sample of saliva to a lab for analysis. For Joan, the results are clear. In 12 weeks, she's lost 11 kilos, going from 90 kilos to just 79. You name it, I tried it. And they did all work initially. I did lose weight with all of them, but I didn't ever keep the weight off. I always put the weight back on and a bit extra as well. The scheme also looks at what type of exercise will benefit a person. For Joan, it's low intensity endurance. So she goes walking in the surrounding countryside. The creator of the British-based Nordiska diet, cell biologist Dr Carolyn Horrocks, said her team looks at eight variants of seven genes. The genes relate to how quickly a person metabolises fat and carbohydrates, appetite control and muscle activity. Some things you can't change by lifestyle and other things you can. So you can change your diet and your exercise patterns. So we chose genes that linked through not just to obesity but also food intake and exercise. No foods are forbidden, just restricted, but dieters are told they should follow one of four meal plans, cutting down on fats, carbs, a low glycemic index diet or moderate balanced eating. Joan Thurloway's results put her in the category of people who absorb fat very easily. I was in fact eating completely the wrong food because it had a high fat content. Although I was counting the calories, I wasn't counting the fats. Participants are encouraged to enter their daily food intake online. It's claimed that this also helps results. A trial in Denmark involving 7,700 people saw 9 out of 10 lose weight, with some dropping up to 12 kilos in four months. Danish family doctor Carl Brandt worked with Dr Horrocks on the diet concept. He spent the last 10 years researching how the web can be used to treat obesity. Using the internet we can have very close connection with each other and uh, they could type in you know, right after the meals, right after exercise, what they ate and what they were doing and it was possible to comment on it straight away. And I got together with the Danish Dietitian Association and we then created the, the service in, in Denmark and um, it has been extremely successful since then. It is this connection and feedback which some dietary experts believe is responsible for the diet success rather than the genetic aspect of the regime. Clearly anything that supports people, that motivates them, that encourages them, that makes them feel that someone is sort of on their back or taking an interest, you know, will, will make it more likely that they adhere to a diet, whichever diet it is, um, and it means that they are more likely to succeed over time. But that is really due to the additional supervision and support rather than the genetic profiling that explains the success of it. But for Joan Thurloway, one thing is certain. She's enjoying her new lifestyle and there's no turning back.